the first generation Tiguan was conceived in 2008. So that was almost a full 10 years ago. This one was conceived in 2016, rebuilt from the ground up, brand new design. Everything about the car was built new with this model. It wasn't a, a refresh of an older model. So transmission is new. It's an eight speed transmission, which is gonna give you, first of all, much better fuel economy. But secondly, it's also gonna give you a much better driving experience because the shifting is just that much more dynamic versus an older six speed transmission. The actual length of the car is only 30 centimeters bigger. So it's not enormous when you, when you sort of boil down what you think 30 centimeters is. But in terms of car size, 30 centimeters is enormous. So what it's allowed Volkswagen to do is it's allowed them to put in a third row of, of seats and it's also allowed the car that does not have the third row option, it gives them a much bigger trunk space now. The first generation of Tiguan, really the only criticism that was ever leveled against that car was that the trunk space wasn't as generous as what yeah. people were typically looking for. This car answers that criticism by giving customers essentially the same style car but with a bigger trunk space. The styling of the car has been improved. The, the aerodynamic creases that they've added to the car, you'll notice that the hood, the hood has a, a double scoop aerodynamic crease on the side, on the left and the right. You'll also notice that there's a new belt line crease that runs through the side of the car. And besides being design cues, these are aerodynamic features that make the car that much more efficient cutting through the air. The front grille design is taken from the new fascia that Volkswagen is using on all of their SUVs. We saw it first on the Atlas that was released about three months ago, and they've continued it on to the new Tiguan. Beautiful front grille design. They, they've maintained the three trim levels that they had in the original version of the, of the Tiguan. So you have the entry level trend line, the mid-range comfort line, and then the upper range is in the high line. And the differences between the three, as you can imagine, have to do with the level of equipment in the car. The great thing about Volkswagen is that in all three trim levels, engine, transmission, and safety features remain the same. So you never have to shortchange yourself on performance or safety if you choose the entry level model versus the Highline model. The biggest differences between the three models come in the creature comforts, uh, things like leather seats versus, versus imitation leather seats. The Highline technologically is superior than any car we've seen before. It has the brand new digital cockpit, which gives you more information. It gives you the information presented in a much more presentable, palatable way for our, our intuitive minds. In, in other words, it's giving you the information that you want to see instead of Volkswagen saying, well, here's the two dials giving you the information that we chose for you to see at the factory. Okay, so now we're sitting in the Highline version of the brand new Tiguan. And one of, the, one of the signatures of the Highline trim level is the digital cockpit, which as you can see, as opposed to the traditional dashboard with the analog gauges, this one is entirely digital, which means that you can customize it somewhat to show you the information that you're looking for. But the other nice thing is, is that the contrast is much easier on our eyes, meaning that we respond much better to the information being presented to us. So it's that much safer for the driver in all lighting conditions, which is great as well. It'll tie into your system, meaning you don't have to avert your eyes as much under the old uh, type of dashboard uh, in entertainment system. So it gives you that tie-in, which is a little bit safer again for the driver. Coupled with the fact that the Highline comes standard with the Fender sound system, meaning you have that much uh, more power for your, uh, your audio, it really is an outstanding addition to the, uh, the Tiguan line. This, this Highline trim level is really, really exciting for us. This is a new color for Volkswagen. It's called White Silver. And it's, it's a, uh, a white car with a bluish tint to it. So depending on the light, the color can actually look a little bit different all the time, but it is essentially a, uh, a bluish white. This is the Comfort Line model, meaning that it has the standard dashboard and it has the, the imitation leather seating as opposed to leather seats and the digital cockpit. As well, the wheels on the standard comfort line are a little bit smaller. They're 17 versus 18 inch on the standard high line. So there is a small difference in that in terms of the trim level. The other thing that's exciting about the car is that now they've upped the basic safety features of these cars. There are more sensors installed in the cars than ever before. Of course, now it's mandatory cars come with the rear view camera. You have a brand new uh, dash mounted set to see the, the image from the rear view camera. 
you have more sensors to warn you about lateral front and rear impacts. You have the, the cruise control warning system which which monitors your speed and the speed of the cars around you and keeps the safe distance between you and the cars. They're standard features on the Comfort Line and the High Line, yeah. So they're, they're dynamite features to have in the car and they make the cars that much safer on the road.